These are all words that end with Y. Nouns that end with N, with Y. Right? Not N, Y. Ha. Dairy becomes dairies. And before that we had dairy becoming dairies. Lorry, lorry becomes lorries. Right? Quarry becomes quarries. Now just look at that, how that's spelled. Look how the Y has done a disappearing trick there. Baby, that's my sister there, the baby, and my mum, baby becomes babies. When do you drop the Y? We will discover why. Get it? Forget it. Glory, right? We become glorious. The Y does a disappearing trick. Glory. When you're changing it to glorify, Goodbye to the Y after R. Victory. Now, what happens when we change it to victorious? Well, when you change it to victorious, goodbye to Mr. Y. Harmony. Now, if the last two letters are consonants, okay? then we drop the Y when adding a suffix, right? Like with harmonize, okay? And harmonious there. If the last two letters are consonants, then we drop the Y when we add the suffix, right? The Y stays when we add a suffix here. Bury, when it becomes burying, when cry becomes crying, when carry becomes carrying, when copy becomes copying, when delay becomes delaying, when empty becomes emptying, when hurry becomes hurrying, and when party becomes partying. <clears throat> so the ing it stays. Now when you're using the verb subject agreement, for example, the dog buries a bone, I will bury a bone, okay? Bury, again you notice, the Y is being removed, the Y has been removed and replaced with IES. You know some other examples there like cry becomes cries and carry becomes carries and the Y in all these examples there goes. Now a little test for here. Friendly and happy. Can you spell friendly and happier? Yes I'm sure you can. Yes happy becomes happier and of course the Y goes, and with friendly, of course it goes to friendlier, and the Y goes. Now, angrier actresses would be a comparative adjective. Angriest actress would be a superlative adjective. All right? Okay? I want you to remember, I know that's quite a lot to take in there. Right, okay. Comparative adjective, that basically just means more. Superlative adjective means most or least. And if you can pause here and just check through all these ones there. Right, they're all listed. The one at the bottom is quite a good one, doesn't it? That sums it up. Normal adjective, great. Comparative, greater. And the superlative version, greatest. Right, or big, bigger, biggest. You see? Army, baby, city, daisy, quarry, and story. You notice I've highlighted there the consonants at the end of these words. And when it's more, two or more, it gets dropped and replaced with IES. Now here, with I'll just give you two of the examples written with pay and pray. Notice there is a vowel right before the last consonant. So that it's just a simple case of adding an S in that example. Thank you.